gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. I don't know. Hello, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Mental Training, where we give you daily wisdom and you know life, you know things that will make your life to be uh, properly. You get my point now. All right, so I'm here with my students today. Uh, as usual, uh, uh, spell them hi. Spell them hi. hi. Yeah. Okay. So now today we'll be talking about Dwight Eisenhower. Or Dwight Eisenhower. Eisenhower. I don't know how they pronounce it those days in USA. Dwight Eisenhower. How? How? Eisenhower. Eisenhower. Pronounce it. Eisenhower, Dwight Eisenhower. Now, um, this man, he, he, he had self-control. Self-control, it was his secret to winning at life. Self-discipline, the virtue of temperance, is even more important. The ability to keep your ass in line. The ability to work hard. The ability to say no. To practice good habits and set boundaries. To train and to prepare. Why are you looking away from Oga? Mala, can you focus here, please? Like, what are you doing? You think I said? Eh? Alright. As usual, I can see some people operating phone at my back. How will you hear me? What, see where you are. Everybody is here. They are far behind there. The ability to keep your emotions in check and the ability to endure painful difficulties. Self-discipline is giving everything you have and knowing what to hold back. Um, some things we resist and some things we pursue, but in all things we proceed with moderation, intentionally, reasonably, without being consumed or carried away. So temperance is not deprivation. It doesn't mean that you deprive yourself of those things. What does temperance mean? Discipline is predictive and deterministic. You understand? It makes more likely that you'll be successful. You understand? A lack of discipline puts you in danger. A lack of discipline puts you in what? Danger. Puts you in what? Danger. Madam, what of a lack of lack of discipline? What does it put you in? Just like as you are lacking discipline now, you are in danger of me chopping your father. Like lack of discipline puts you in what? Shiba. Shiba. Anyway, all right. So. Let us go back to Eisenhower. I was talking about Eisenhower. So this is Eisenhower. This is him. Eisen, Eisenhower. Where did you All right. Um, please, could you help me to hold this? Yeah. Uh, let them let them be seeing it. Hold it up, but don't cover your face. I don't know. Uh, like, no, like put it somewhere here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's okay. If you are paying, you give another person. Let them be seeing who Eisenhower is. So Eisenhower. Now, hmm. Do you know that Eisenhower was literally at the point the most powerful man in the world, Dwight Eisenhower. You know, as at World War Two, he, he 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 was he was controlling a total of as in more than seven hundred million citizens. Because when the Allied forces in World War II, during the German uh, World, during the World War, when they were fighting against Nazi Germany and their Japanese allies, you see, like he discovered that the best way to lead was not by force or fear; it was through persuasion, but as in through compromise, through patience by controlling his temper even though some people are making me to want to lose my temper right now but as in i'll be like dwight eisenhower that man i'll be i'll be like that man there. 
please, can you please close that? What's up with the window now? Leave the window, please. Alright, so now. When he emerged from the war, he was like a victor of victors because not only did the Allies win the war, they won the war totally. You understand? So, um, then as president of the USA, he, he, he suddenly became in charge of nuclear weapons. He was at that time like the most powerful human being in the world. There was almost no one or nothing that could tell him what to do. Nothing could stop him. Nothing could stop who? Him, who, who is the who? Well. Hey, put my... Don't, don't corrupt that man with that student. Please. Put that man where he belongs. Okay. Uh -huh. So, Yet his presidency, that's this Dwight, that man here, his presidency involved no wars at all. There was no war, there was no use of those horrible weapons, no, no, no nuclear weapon, Wahala. And he left office with warnings that, in fact, you see, all these machineries, they can create war. Hmm? The so called military industrial complex. So, do you know that the only time he used force was when he wanted to escort. A group of black children that were going to school for the first time. He told the 101st Airborne Division then that they should escort those children to school. Imagine that time racism was at its peak, or not? It was racism was very much that time as 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 blacks, like as African Americans. Then they could there are so many rights you were ignored, uh, denied. So imagine the black children. Like this child here, that is really stubborn. Wanted to, don't worry, you can leave it. Just leave it. Yeah. Just like this, uh, one of like these students here. Let's assume now that time she wanted to go to school. Uh, so that's what that's what actually happened. Like he had to send military to protect this kid. And there was no single scandal during his time. No single scandal. There were not any. So his greatness, like all true greatness, it was not rooted in aggression or ego or his appetite or his vast fortune. So if you compare him with somebody like Hitler or Mussolini, all those great dictators that time, if you tear that book, you will not allow this man to, to, to teach my viewers something now. What's the problem? No. All right, so, as a young man, Eisenhower, his mother, taught, told him something from the book of Proverbs. He said, he that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. And she told him that he that ruled his spirit than he that taketh a city. Now, she taught him this lesson that a man called Seneca tried to instill in the rulers. He advised him that the most powerful is he who has himself in his own power. So if you are not able to control yourself, you put yourself in trouble. Do you understand? You specifically, do you understand? Eh? Alright. So. He literally conquered the world by conquering himself first. So if you want to conquer the world, who do you have to conquer first? You have to conquer yourself. Who do you have to conquer first? Have to conquer first. Good. Who do you have to conquer first? Yourself. If not that I've conquered myself, I'll just I'll keep it simple for you. I've conquered myself. Yeah. Please, you guys should focus, please. Alright, so so there is a part of us that celebrates and envies all the bad boys. I know that I know there is a part of you that is wishing like you are like the you know the questionable celebrities in the 
community, the questionable celebrities in the city. You see, it's an illusion. If you gotta look at those people closely, all these people that are giving you wrong advice, that are you know living a lifestyle of wahala, you know, causing problems here and there, those people you would think that they are happy. If you go and watch them closely, they are not that happy. No one experiences more pain than the gluten. And no success is shorter lived than the reckless or endlessly ambitious. I like the way these guys focus. This guy is very focused. Keep it up. And I like the way the person holding the paper is focused. But the person that is wearing yellow, I don't know. Are you focused? All right. A driver without control will go fast. If you, if you don't control your driving, you, you, are, you may go fast, but you will inevitably crash. You may lead to, you may have accidents. What may you have? Fast tense. Sam. A driver will have fast tense. That's what I'm facing in this mental training. All right, so. It is true discipline that not only are all things possible, but also that all things are enhanced. So, name somebody truly great without self-discipline. Just name one calamitous undoing that was not at least because of lack of self-discipline. So, more than talent, life is about temperament and temperance. Why are you shining your eye like a winch now? Eh? Trying to scare my viewers. What is the problem now? Okay, so for them to understand, they understand already. They understand. All right, so uh, remember, be like, okay, this one. Be like this one, Dwight Eisenhower. Be like who? Uh -huh. What's this man's name? What's this man's name? What's this man? What's his name? Look at Dwight something. Sir, what's his name, please? Dwight S. N. Tower. How about you? Dwight Eisenhower. So let's try to be like Dwight Eisenhower. His epitome of self discipline. He has the virtue of temper. Okay, so um, does anybody have any questions? Yes. Dwight Eisenhower. Okay, Dwight Eisenhower. He's asking what is so good about Dwight Eisenhower? Were you in the class? He's asking me what was his role. Were you in the class? All right. Anyway, like I initially said, Dwight Eisenhower was the epitome of self-discipline, self-control. He was literally the most powerful, the ma um, powerful man in the whole world at the point during World War II. Those days, like the war was at its peak, so. Some countries had to come together to form alliance. You understand? Let's assume that uh, uh, South Africa is causing serious problems in Africa, and then and they are invading various countries. So Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, Togo, all of them now come together to form one army. They call them the Allied Forces, and then they now made. President Tunubu, the leader of the Allied Forces. Or, if not, maybe they appointed a general. Uh, I don't know who is the chief of army staff in, I think, something, Taurid Lagbaja, General Taurid Lagbaja, I think that should be his name. Then I made him the chief of army staff of all those nations. You understand? 
So at that point, he was like the most powerful man in this allied uh, forces. You understand? What do you understand? What of Abraham Lincoln? What does Abraham Lincoln have to do with Dr. Lincoln? Thank you. You have learned enough. Uh, you, any questions? Does anybody have any questions? You, do you have any questions? Okay, so uh, what did you learn today, Bros? I'm coming to you. Thank you. Uh, Bros, what did you learn? That guy said he learned, uh, he learned uh, you should make your citizens successful. You know, what did you learn? I better go to that. Yes. All right. The man by my side, the most serious person in mental training. What did you learn? I learned that. It's good to be self disciplined. Yes. To have self control is good. Yes. To say what you want to say. If not, I'll conquer myself. I'll just, you know. Anyway, Auntie, what did you learn? Talk now. She learns that you should be good. Nico, you. Yes. Question. Alright. Two points you need to achieve to become self disciplined. Is it like. What you need to do to be dis um, disciplined. Huh? Okay. Hmm. First of all, you have to understand that you are not better than anybody, and nobody is better than you. We are all equal. Then, secondly, There are more than two things, so there are more than two things. You have to understand that if you are able to conquer yourself, you can conquer the world. Because most of the great people, one thing that has destroyed them is lack of self discipline. Most of the great people that fell down, lack of self discipline. So, of course, there are many other things, but those are two things I can at least point out. You understand? You don't have to be arrogant and proud. Humility is one, is one very important source of self-discipline because when you are given certain access to power, if you are able to control yourself, you will not destroy others. What did you say now? What did you say now? Uh, what did you say now? <laughs> All right, so guys, thank you for watching the. Let me. We have come to the end of this show. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure, <laughs> make sure you like, uh, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you subscribe. Click on the subscribe button and share it with your friends. Let them learn also the power of self-discipline. I've not told you to tell them bye bye. Why are you kissing them? You can. All right, all right. So take care of yourself. Please tell them bye. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. All right. Bye.